everyone, Garland Colson here, Captain Time. And today I want to do a review of a tool that I use almost every day called a MindMeister. So MindMeister is a mind mapping program. And as you can see, it's got a topic in the middle here, and then it's got different subtopics uh, all around. So why do I use mind mapping? I've used mind mapping for years. I really love it. Uh, I use it in so many different areas. It's great for sharing ideas, brainstorming, and you can narrow your focus by opening and closing branches. As you can see here, uh, you know, when I open a branch, I can zoom right in on it. But then when I'm done with that particular topic, I can close it. So before MindMeister, I used MindMeister some years ago, but for quite a while I was using XMind. Uh, it's free, powerful, and has lots of features, and I did like using it. But the reason I switched from a, um, XMind to MindMeister was that XMind just made it very difficult for me to collaborate and share with others. And with MindMeister, it was designed from the beginning to be online and shared and collaborative. So I just found that MindMeister was superior when it came time to start sharing more with my clients. And I'll talk about how I use MindMeister with my clients so that you'll understand better why collaboration became so critical. Um, another nice thing about MindMeister is their servers are located in an ISO certified data center in Frankfurt, Germany, uh, with you know high service uptime, so you don't have to worry about data, data security and things like that, or, or where your data might be located. So with that in mind, I'm going to go through some of the features. Now, this is not meant to be a MindMeister tutorial. Okay, I want to make that clear. MindMeister has a whole huge help center, tons of training videos on how to use it. So this is a single video, just my review of it and why I find it useful and how I use it. So this is not meant to replace MindMeister help because they've already done that work, so I don't need to do that. So features, there's tons of features, and I'm only going to mention some of them here, not all of them. But when it comes time to create a new mind, my, mind map, uh, if we go into the interface here, so this is the interface that you'll see when you first get into MindMeister. And you see over on the left-hand side, it's My Maps, Recents, Favorites, Public, Trash, and Templates. In the middle here, again, it shows a plus symbol to create a new mind map, or you can go new mind map. And you can create folders, which is great. So I have folders down here for my clients, my coaching templates, content that I'm creating for articles, marketing plans I've put together, training, uh, new products, and stories are for the fiction stories that I write uh, that I've not yet published so still working on those so as you can see it's great because it gives me a way to pull all of these into the areas where they are under coaching templates when I'm going to be dealing with a client I can quickly pull up a template for whatever we want to do so if we're going to be goal setting I can pull up that template if I'm going to be coaching them on time management I can pull up that one if I'm working with a virtual assistant training them on building their business I can work on that one if somebody needs help with digital marketing I can work with that one when I want a new mind map, it's really simple. You just click on the section here, and it just gives you automatically a brand, brand new mind map. I'm just going to go back for a moment here. Now, one of the great things about MindMeister is it lets you do a lot of different ones. So you can preview ones for note-taking, getting things done uh, in different ones here. So you can see they've got tons of different templates that you can work with here. And again, if we click on the Show More, you'll see how many different templates, you know, business plan, project plan, pros and cons, some for education, for essay writing, uh, class syllabus, life, you know, uh, your life plan, and some productivity things here. So lots of different ones to do, or you can use a blank one. And they give you some different options as well. Uh, the one I use most often is the aligned one, or, but you can also do organizational charts or left or right aligned or free. Difference between free and aligned is that automatically whenever you open and close things under aligned, they'll all snap back into an area. But if you wanted to have the things staying where they are, then you would use the free. So I'll go back to my review here. So that was the create a new mind map and templates. Uh, so map alignment, as I mentioned, uh, you know, I've used the aligned here, but if I did the free version or left or right, then I could be moving those around. When you want to add content, it's really easy to add content. To add content, you just really hit, I usually just hit the um, the enter button to create you know, a new topic at the same level. So if I hit enter, I get one like this. If I want a topic at a lower level, I hit the tab button. But there's other ways too. You can also hit the, 
the uh, plus button insert or tab. So there's multiple ways of doing these, but I just use the enter or the tab. And that makes it really fast. Like when you want to take notes, very fast to add, add new things. When I want to enhance the content a bit, uh, what I do is I just choose the burger menu on the right over here. And this is this menu here. And suddenly it lets me do tons of different things. So you can see I can change the color background here. I can change the color of the text or the background. So if I go like that, you'll see the colors are changing. If I want to change the text color, I just go here and I can change those kind of subtle, but you can see that. So that makes it really easy to do. Some other things I can add is I can change the fonts as well. So when I click on here, um, I can change the font size, make it bold or italic, change the color of it as well. You can add icons, this is really cool. So if I click on the icon section uh, here, it gives you a ton of different icons. And if I go here, you'll see how many there are. So if you want a happy face or an exclamation mark or thumbs up or thumbs down or some nature stuff, you can very quickly add icons here. It makes it really, um, really easy to add icons to these. Another one is to add an image. And this is really quite powerful um, here when you want to add an image. We'll just go back over here. So when you want to add an image, you can click on the images here and they give you some images to start with. Or you can upload an image, use a web image, or you can even draw an image or browse the image library. So there's there's a lot of ways that you can add you know, um, images here. They give you some great ones to start with, but you can upload any image. So you can upload pictures you've taken yourself and you can see how powerful the images are and the icons when they allow you to just make you know, make your mind map information pop that way. I also love that you can add videos. So same thing, if we click over here, click on video, and you can add a video, you click there, and then you can um, add a video just by putting the URL in, if it's a YouTube video or one there, or I think you can probably upload as well, so. Uh, links, when I have in the link area here, I can go ahead and add a link. So if I wanted to put in, you know, uh, captaintime.com, then I can automatically insert the link there. And you'll see that it's got a little icon there that will show you if I click on that link, it will take me to that one. Notes, uh, you can add notes section here. Let's see. So over here is where we're getting these. So notes is this one right here. And I can do a test note. And then when I click on that to close it, you'll see that the notes are there. If I point to it, the test note will show up. You can also, if you need to write really extensive notes, like if you're teaching or training, you can um, also expand this to be full sized as well. If you click on advanced here, you'll see that it gives you a much bigger way to work with the notes and even gives you bullet points, uh, pictures right within the notes, numbers, uh, alignment and things like that. Comments are really awesome when you're collaborating. If you're collaborating, you do a comment. Uh, you know, people can give a thumbs up, thumbs down or a thumbs up. Uh, love this idea. You know, and, and they can type in comments. Love this idea, or what about uh, what about pink? And you can then click on that, and then it shows that there's a comment there. And once again, when you click on it, it shows who said it. I uh, love the idea. What about that? File attachments, again, you can click on here. <coughs> Excuse me, Tact, uh, drop your files here. You can do that. You can even turn these into a task. So uh, MindMeister also has a system called Master, um, uh, Master Task, where you can then, Meister Task, where you can then create these and, and turn them into a Kanban style task management system. Not one I use myself, because I already have my other task management systems in place, but a great add-on as well. So tons of ways of enhancing all that content. And once again, when I'm done with that area, I can just close that particular opening and go on to the next feature. Notice I was able to click here and that centers, you know, the um, it back to that area. Can add relationships. So let's say if you had a relationship between two things by clicking this relationship button here, and then it can go a relationship between there and there. Zooming in and out is quite easy. You've got a plus or a minus sign here. Recenter, I just showed you. Hitting that button will recenter it again. 
Sharing and collaborating is really easy, and this is the reason why I chose MindMeister. When you click down here on Share, you can invite people with an email address, or you can copy a link and send to them, or you can share directly to Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. You can also publish your map uh, to uh, the MindMeister publish area or other areas such as BiggerPlate. And you can control your sharing settings as well. So you can tell if you want people maybe to only have uh, viewing level and not have administrator access and things like that. And you can create a presentation from this, which is really quite cool. You can, uh, if you go down here to presentation, you can create either an automated presentation or a manual one. And I'll just click on start slideshow here and you can see this is an automatic presentation I had created. And so this will go through. So I could have done this uh, training as a presentation as well. But the reason I didn't was because I wanted to show you how the mind map works for opening and closing and the like. But as you can see, turning your mind map into a presentation is really easy to do. So you just escape and stop slideshow out of there. I do have a lot of control over the slideshow so I can change what shows. So if I want that to show a bigger area, I can move it that way. So and you can control the numbers, you know, just by dragging and dropping these down below. You can also export, um, you know, you, your slides as a PDF or, you know, some common, you can, or there's, you can export your mind map as common P, uh, things like PDF or, uh, or different ones there. So uh, let's see, export and printing. Yeah, so down here you've got the export button, lets you export as PDF document outline, Word, PowerPoint, image file. Some of these you might need to go different, you know, different ones, pr pricing levels for. You can also export as common mind map formats, such as FreeMind, MindManager, and XMind. And presentation formats, again, gives you the slides and the image files if you want. Uh, or you can print, of course, and printing lets you, uh, you know, print as a PDF or, or out to your printer, and you have some control over that as well. You can also uh, go back in time. You see there's a history button here. So if I screwed something up or deleted something I shouldn't, then I can go back and recover it. So that's the features. So a lot, as you can see, lots going on there. <laughs> lots of great stuff happening. What do I use MindMeister for? So what I use it for is coaching templates. As I mentioned, I've got templates for tons of things, uh, goal setting, uh, time management coaching, digital marketing, and things like that. And it makes it really easy for me to work with a client. And I'm adding a lot of value to a client because they can then copy that mind map and use it for their own use. So I'm providing tons more value that way. Also lets me collaborate with other people. If I want to brainstorm a marketing idea or a product idea, I can share with them and they can we can brainstorm in real time or or it can be asynchronous where they just add stuff as they think of it. Uh, training, I use it for training things like this. Coaching notes, this is a big one. I have found that the fastest way for me to take notes when I'm doing one-on-one -on -one coaching with people is to do it in mind maps. Mind maps just work so much faster than anything else I've ever done for coaching notes. Brainstorming, mind maps are just perfect for brainstorming. Product launch planning. I mind map whole books. If you've ever read a book that had great content but not really a step-by-step -step plan, I use the mind map to create that step-by-step -step plan. So um, lots of great things I use it for. Um, I don't really have any complaints about MindMeister. I'd like a little bit more control over the group publishing. Like I'd like to be able to publish for some things for just members of a certain group I've created. Uh, rather than have to, having to have them fully public. And I suggested that, so hopefully that will be a feature in future. Pricing uh, for MindMeister, I, I find them quite affordable. Uh, first off, free. You can have up to three mind maps, so check it out. Uh, share, collaborate, you know, import. You can go ahead and use that, do three mind maps. So if you want to get started, great way to go. Personal, um, give $4.99 a month, but gives you unlimited mind maps, you know, file and image attachments, PDF export, mind map printing. So it's really quite good. Uh, the pro level just gives you some more exports really in multiple team members, uh, you know, and some and connection to G Suite if you need that. Uh, and some extra custom themes and styles and boundaries. And then, of course, then the business one is, uh, you know, lets you work with groups and, and things like that. But overall, even at the twelve forty nine a month, it's it's quite affordable. And as I said, this is a tool I use daily and I never mind paying for a tool that I use daily. 
So how can Garland help you with MindMeister? So Garland is a MindMeister certified expert. So what does that mean? That means that Garland can help you with, with um, training, coaching, and consulting uh, for uh, you know, using mind maps in your organization, for using MindMeister in your organization. I can even come out uh, online and facilitate a brainstorming session with you. So if you want to run a meeting, a brainstorming meeting using MindMeister, but you'd like uh, an expert to run the first meeting for you until your team uh, learns how to use it better, I'd be happy to do that for you. In addition, I can get you a bit of a discount on MindMeister. So uh, if you follow uh, the affiliate link, of my, I, and, and I do get a small commission for referring you uh, to MindMeister. So clicking on the affiliate link in the text below this video will, will help support my videos. But I can also get you 10% uh, off your first payment if you enter Captain Time, all uppercase, at checkout. So as I say, MindMeister is a great tool. I'm recommending it because I use it every day, not because I get just get paid for it or it's an affiliate program. This is my go-to mind mapping program. As I said, I used to use XMind. I no longer use it. Um, I've switched entirely to MindMeister. I'm adding new mind maps every day and using it continually. So reach out, I'd love to hear from you, uh, what your mind mapping experiences are. And please hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, to encourage me to create more of these and check out my Patreon below for other ways to, to uh, support me. Thanks for listening.